Hello, this is Chris Menard. I have a great Gmail tip for you today. There's over a billion Gmail users. Whenever you have that Gmail address, you are allowed to use dots in it and you'll still get it back from someone else. So feel free to give your family and friends your real Gmail address. But whenever you subscribe to something, so I'm going to go to my website. So my Gmail address is ChristopherMenard9 at gmail.com. But when I go and subscribe, I'm going to do Christopher.Menard9 at gmail.com. It doesn't matter where you put that dot. You can have multiple dots. I could have a dot after the C dot H dot. So I'm going to hit subscribe. The advantage of using this method, let's see if I receive that. There it is. So I still receive the email in my regular Gmail account. The one advantage of this, I'm going to go ahead and click here and show you this. There's the dot still in there. Is assume that you use this to always subscribe to stuff and you decide I don't want to subscribe to them anymore. Go up to the search bar and just paste it in there. Notice it still has the dot in there. And I've only got, I've used this before as you can see. So I could quickly set up a filter. I click the arrow, create a filter. It's using the dot email address. I could, if I want to, just basically say, hey, delete everything. I could also skip the inbox and archive it so it doesn't show up in my inbox. But in this example, I'm actually going to use a label because this is pretty cool. What label do you want to use? I'm going to call it subscription. I'm going to abbreviate just to save time, SUB1. So I subscribe, SUB1, apply filter to the matching conversations, create filter. So I created a filter and back to my inbox, there is my label right there. So use dots in your Gmail address when you're uncertain about whether you really want to give out that email address to somebody. Great little tip. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I have two webinars coming up in September. So if you're interested, go subscribe to my website also. That's how I notify people about the free webinars. Have a great day. Thank you.